This is Jake from Sucker13 here, and today I'm going to be doing my first video in a very long time. It's been about two weeks, and that's because I had about a week's uh, a week and a day of vacation, and then school was starting. Uh, and I had work and stuff; just didn't really feel like making videos. Um, but I'm back now, and I might be making another video. Uh, I don't know, maybe two more videos this week. Not quite sure. Um, <clears throat> but this video is going to be a squad builder. Haven't done a squad builder in a while either. Uh, and this one is going to be a Barclays Premier League squad builder. It's going to be fairly cheap. Uh, there's going to be one form that you could put in, uh, but it would cost about as much as the entire squad. So, anyways, uh, I was looking for just like uh, the perfect players for certain positions. And I figured that Premier League was probably the best league to do it in just because there's loads of players. And loads of uh, well-rounded players, loads of players that are like uh, that you can't find in other leagues. So I didn't really want to bother with making a hybrid, but anyways, uh, so the best striker in the game, just about, is Samuel Eto'o. And the reason for this is because when you're looking for a striker, you know you want a decent all-round striker. You know you want the pace, the shooting, the dribbling, and then the heading. Uh, you want a little bit of height. Uh, for me, you want four-star skill moves. And uh, the high, medium, or high, low work rates. Sorry if you can hear that. That's my phone. But anyways, Eto with 91 pace, 81 shooting, 75 heading, and 86 dribbling. And he's only 4,000 coins. That is crazy considering that he's one of the best strikers in the game. There's really only a few others that are even close, and that would be like Cavani, Benzema, and if Ronaldo was a striker, he would be the best striker in the game by a long shot, um, <clears throat> stat-wise. But, anyways, uh, this is just the Premier League, so Eto, I would say, by far the best striker in the Premier League. And then, a lot of players on this team will have high medium work rates, just because I want all the players to have proper work rates. Um, I think high medium is a, a good like work rate for uh, my forwards and my outside backs. So anyways, the next player on the team is going to be William. Uh, I think I could have used Sturridge, but his problem would have been the work rates. Pretty sure he has medium, medium, maybe high, high, but uh, I don't think he has high medium like William does. And William is a pretty decent player, 88 pace, 88 dribbling, uh, okay shooting and 78 passing. You know, 83 rated. I'm actually kind of surprised he has the high rated card. Um, but anyways, uh, on to the next player, and it is going to be. Uh, I actually forget who's going to be. No, Morales is going to be there. I was about to check while putting in the offense mid, but Kevin Morales is uh, one of the best outside mids in the Premier League, and there was a lot of options in here. Um, but I just went with Morales because I thought he had the best stats. Uh, he does. He, he has 88 pace, uh, 75 shooting, which is better than Williams, 79 passing, which is better than Williams, and only three less dribbling. But for some reason, he's uh, three ratings less. I mean, he also has crazy high defending. Uh, well, not crazy high, but higher defending than Williams and crazy high heading compared to Williams. Um, but anyways, he is a very decent right mid, and I just moved him to right wing. Uh, the other players I could have chosen from were like I think Arnautovic maybe, and uh, McGeady, uh, and a few others. But I went with him. Uh, and this is my actually my favorite team <clears throat> that I currently use. And the next player in the team is going to be Dembele, who's actually an offensive mid, but a lot of four in a center mid is all about all. Like all around good stats, and I want them to have. I want them to be fairly tall, like just like not short, like five ten or higher. Uh, maybe maybe five nine. Depends on how good the player is. Uh, and I would like to have, you know, every stat above seventy and high high work rates. That's why Torre is not in this team. He has medium high work rates with high defensive. Uh, but Dembele with high high work rates, he's got seventy one his lowest stat, which is. Defending. Then he has 81 pace and he got 76, 76 passing, 86 dribbling, one of his high stats. Then decent shooting and heading as well. Uh, and he has four star skill moves, which was a bonus. And the next player in this team is Jordan Henderson. 
and he, I, I kind of like Henderson. Uh, and this is the player that you could use as in form. I think it's about fifty thousand right now. If you actually check in game here, it says that yeah, uh, about forty thousand. is What this says. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put in his normal card, which is still very good. Well, his upgrade card, I guess. And he again has high high work rates, and also um, I like movie footers have at least three star skill and three star weak foot. Both these players fit that, um, and Henderson has 71 as his lowest stat as well. Uh, but you know every stat is, high, is equal to or higher than that, uh, and then his highest stats mean pace, dribbling, and passing. And he's a pretty good player. Uh, he's not amazing, but I don't have any complaints about him. And the next player in the team is the Chelsea version of De Bruyne, De Bruyne, however you want to say his name. And he's expensive now, uh, which I kind of understand why, because he's not in packs anymore for Chelsea, and he's an amazing player. Uh, you know, he's got the high medium work rates that I like my offensive mids to have. He's got 79 pace, 79 shooting, 80 passing, and 82 dribbling. He's got the four-star skill moves that I like my offensive mids to have, and... As a bonus, he has five star weak foot, and him, him and Draxler both are just insane players, and they're both in the uh, both non rares in the Bundesliga now. Uh, unfortunately, Draxler will be a left mid most likely next game, uh, which is unfortunate because he'll be basically useless. At least uh, I, I don't think he'll be that good there. Might try him out once or twice, but uh, the left back in this team is going to be Felipe Luiz. And now that his price has sort of went down after the transfer, he's not too expensive, only about 4000 But he's a great player. He's got the high medium work rates. He's got three star skill moves as a bonus. And he's got decent all around stats. The only low ones are his uh, shooting and heading. But, you know, he's got the 81 defending. You know, he's got the, uh, the dribbling, the passing, all right pace. And I think he's fairly tall as well. And then these two center backs, uh, they're debatable. But Koscielny in one spot and Sacco in the other spot. Now, out of these two, actually out of the whole of the Premier League, Sacco is by far my favorite player, uh, my favorite center back. He's got the medium high work rates, uh, same as Koscielny with you know high defensive. Uh, they both have like uh, 70 higher pace. He's got 70, he's got 78. Koscielny has 82 defending, 81 heading. And then Sacco has a 79 defending and 81 heading, but Sacco just, you know, he's a rock back there. He doesn't go too far up, and neither does Koscielny, actually. Uh, you know, he's pretty tall, he's pretty strong. Uh, he actually doesn't get beat to the ball that much. You know, it's, it seems like he has like 80 pace, uh, for me at least. And he's just a great player. And then the next player in the squad is going to be Kyle Walker, my favorite. Second favorite, actually, way back in the game behind... Uh, Abate, but he's got 92 pace, and then all his other stats are 65 or higher, and actually, he's got 70 pace, 76 dribbling, 78 defending and heading, which are crazy stats for a 79 rated player, um, and he's got the three-star skill moves as a bonus, he got a high medium work rates, and yeah, he's a lot of people's favorite center back, or uh, right back in the game, for me, Abate is just a little bit better, but he is still an amazing player, and then the last player in the team is, you can use any Premier League goalkeeper, but I like Courtois. A lot of people don't like Courtois, but Courtois for Atletico Madrid and this Chelsea card, definitely the best keep, the best keeper in the game for me. With his Atletico Madrid card, I played at 250 some games with him, and then finally sold him just because I didn't use a team that I could put him in anymore. Uh, but I bought back this Chelsea card. He's played about five games for me um, because I actually used Petr Cech at first, but I figured I'd give him a go. He, and since then, he, this team. This team's played about 20 games for me, so Courtois has played 15, 16. Whenever I moved him in, in for check, but he's a very, very good goalkeeper. Uh, but you could use check, you could use like Joe Hart if you wanted to, just about any Premier League goalkeeper. Because he doesn't actually get a link with Koscielny or Sacco, like strong link, but you know, you don't really need that strong link. So yeah, that is the team, and I might be doing a giveaway later, which is going to be kind of like a competition. Uh, and I have to, I have to give at least a certain amount of comments. Uh, giveaway, not a crazy amount of coins, but I guess you know it could uh, could boost your team out a little bit. Um, so uh, <clears throat> that will be out maybe today. Not quite sure. Uh, sometime, but it'll be uh, kind of a squad building competition. Uh, so stick around for that. 
sometime in the next, I'd say, three days, maybe. Uh, I'll give it about a week before I give up on actually doing it because, you know, I do need a certain amount of comments. So, anyways, that'll be the end of the video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys.